Hi, welcome back to Art by Brook. So I am not in my usual spot today. I'm actually outside and there is snow everywhere, but I wanted to try something special that I've seen popping up lately. I'm sure you've seen it too. It's where you put your painting in a bag with some of the paint pour materials and you seal it so that there's nothing on the outside. And then you put some peanut butter on the outside of the bag so it's not touching any paint. And then you let your dog make a masterpiece. Now, I'm being brave by making this video because if my dog is better at painting than me, this might have to become her channel. But I figured this would be a super, super fun and silly video. So let's get started putting in the materials and then we will call out our artiste. <laughs> Do you know something's going on? You'll be out here in a minute. Now I'm still using my leftover paints, so I'm still kind of following along with my leftover paint challenge. I will leave the video in the cards and in the description that describes what that challenge is. I'm trying to use up all of my old paints before I start using anything new, and it's kind of pushing me to try some different combinations. Today's combination, though, is going to be one of my favorites, so I'm not really stepping out of my comfort zone that much. These paints are already mixed with Floetrol. Okay, so this is definitely one of the weirder paintings I've ever done, but let's call out the pup. I'm just hoping she doesn't knock this over. Here, baby. All right, that was super fun. And I'm going to have to take everything back upstairs to my desk and try to get this out of the Ziploc. Then I will show you what it looks like. Okay, we're back at my usual spot, but I usually have less peanut butter and dog slobber on this desk. I'm going to try to somehow get this out of the bag and prop it up on some cups and then we will take a look. This is a little tricky because I don't want the bag to push off all the color. Maybe I'll try to use scissors. I'll have to wipe them off after. Okay, I'm going to throw away this bag, which is actually really pretty, and let's set it up. And just for fun, I'm going to torch it because I see a couple of cells, and I want to see if I can get any more to pop up. If my dog had thumbs and I wasn't afraid she'd burn her hair off, I would let her try this part. But because she doesn't, and I don't, I'll do it for her. Okay, so that made a couple of cells pop out. So I will take the camera down and give you a closer look. All right, so let's go in closer. This area appears so pretty. You have that purple and blue kind of coming together. And then some more of the pink, and you see some cells down in here which we'll come around to. The blue was a metallic color. You can kind of see basically all that's left of the purple by itself down here. And this is super cool with the pink and the white. And then over here, some really intense pink and bright blue. And then here's a closer up of the cells.
This was really fun to do. Though, one could argue that my dog probably had more fun than I, because she got her favorite treat of all time that she only gets on very special occasions. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did my dog do a good job? I think this shows a fun technique that could be done by anyone. Now, maybe you don't actually want to put peanut butter on a Ziploc and lick it yourself, but you could stick a canvas in a Ziploc and put colors in there and squish it around or use some sort of tool to push it around. I want to get better this year about trying new techniques and trying out things that I'm not quite sure about. So that sounds like fun. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. You did a really good job. Are you an artist? Did you have fun? Good girl. Thank you for doing a video with me. Shake. <laughs>